Shouldn't being Jewish be my choice? We live in a society where everything is about choice. You choose a job, you choose a spouse you want to marry. But there are certain things that are beyond choice. Biological. Take, for example, a child who's creative. And creativity is a gift. Even in English, we say the word, it's a gift to child, which means to say it's something that they were born with. They, two people look at a picture. One person sees a picture, and one person sees ink that happens to be a picture. One person experiences the experience of that art, and one person sees uh, you know, just a lot of uh, different colors that are combined onto a single paper that happens to be called art. So creativity is a gift, and you have to have an eye for it. So imagine you take that creative child, put him in a classroom with math, a bunch of math whizzes, who are in the box numbers, and after a while, they keep on talking to him and explaining to him how, you know, everything's about numbers in life. And if you don't know numbers, you won't be able to, you know, read your numbers, read your bank statement. And numbers and numbers and, no and money is numbers. And if you don't... And he starts realizing, hey, maybe there's nothing really to this gift and it's just a problem that I have. It's an issue that I'm experiencing. And the more they convince him and the more he gets involved in the numbers and he does better in the numbers and the more he is trying to experience the joy of numbers, the more frustrated he is because he, he keeps on suppressing his inner self of his creative self, and he's confused. And he's like, but why can't I just be like everybody else? And the answer is because you're not. You're just not. You have your true self. Be true to who you are. You're not better or worse but you're different. You have a unique self. It's called the creative self. The Jewish people are no different. And we have to understand that it's not a, it's not a religious identity. It's a biological identity. And we see this in life. If you take all the cultures in the world, try to find me one culture where people experience a teenage crisis at the age of 50. Not one person. But as a general rule in the culture, this is considered a normal phenomenon. Look in the Jewish world. People at the age of 50 who have settled in life, they have a career, they did well. Suddenly they're making drastic changes that you would send someone to a psychologist for if a person experiences such changes in a normal day. Suddenly they decide, I mean, we don't, someone who's born in, in a kosher diet doesn't we don't fathom what it means to change your diet 100% that certain things are like poison for you. That you simply will not eat it. You know, all the diets people have, oh, you can only cheat once a week, once a month. You, you know, there's always cheating involved. Here, you, there's zero. You're changing the, 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 the behavior patterns of your marriage. Taras mishpah. You're changing your work habits in, in crazy ways. You would send someone to a psychologist for that. And this is normal. The Jewish culture, it's normal. Which other culture in the world has it? And the only real answer to it is because this is exactly like the creative child. We're biologically different. And a Jewish person will not feel good, will not feel satisfied. They will not be able to suppress that inner hunger, that inner frustration, that inner search until they will find Torah and mitzvahs. So you can make whatever choices you want, but you cannot squash, you cannot eliminate that inner search that's aching to be expressed. Mitzvahs are like a paintbrush. You take a paintbrush, you feel the gush of creativity. Mitzvahs allow us to connect to our inner gush of creativity that we have within us. So. You could not be in the mood of a mitzvah. But when you actually do that mitzvah, you'll feel that gush. Mitzvahs are connectors. The Rebbe many times explains that a mitzvah is exactly the same idea like the paintbrush I ex we explained just now. They allow us to feel 
better to feel ourselves more. So sometimes people say, I'm not in the mood. How can I do it? Actually, when you will do the mitzvah, that is actually not, an, not only an outcome of feeling, it could be a cause to feel. You want to make a choice. You don't want to do it. You don't feel like you're in the mood. The answer is a recognition. I am different no matter what. You could squash it. You can push it away. You cannot eliminate it. We're just like the creative child. So instead of trying to find ways to ignore ourselves, let's find our ways to embrace our true self, just like the creative child.